Well, good morning to everybody. And While some disagree with legalizing marijuana, Governor Northam saying most Virginians back the idea and speeding up the timeline to do so, he says, is an issue of equity. People of color and people not of color use marijuana at the same rates, but people of color are three to four times more likely to get arrested and convicted. Under the proposal, possession of less than an ounce would become legal July 1st. Retail sales still wouldn't begin until January 2024, but Virginians could grow up to four plants at home for personal use until then. I, I know that we're not going to be ready by uh, July 1st at all. Hopewell Police Chief Cameron Afsall thinks the state should wait to move towards full legalization since Virginia only decriminalized cannabis last year. He served as a police chief in Colorado for several years. The home grow aspect is very, very troubling um, uh, because I think that's what Colorado did. And I think it creates uh, a, a black market. It creates, you, you can't tell the difference between, you know, what's legally grown and what's not, and create a lot of issues. Black people are continuing to be penalized at four times the rate as white Virginians. Chelsea Higgs Wise has been pushing lawmakers to make this change for years. The advocate says delaying legalization after already giving the idea approval would have only continued the harm done by disproportionate enforcement of marijuana laws. Identifying directly that marijuana is the gateway to the criminal punishment system for black people was actually created to do that very intentionally. And so it feels like we are finally being heard in a sense. We know that people have been injured and we know that there is a time for recovery and a time for uplifting. This group of community leaders meeting outside a medical cannabis facility in Richmond and calling on lawmakers to live up to their promise to help communities of color access the new legal market and have a say in its formation. We see an opportunity in a new industry that can help our people economically. This is a chance for us to build generational wealth. Veto day is set for April the 7th. Both chambers of the General Assembly would have to approve the governor's amendments in order for them to become final. One interesting sign, two Republican senators were quoted in the governor's press release on this announcement. Seems like they might have the votes to pass this through both chambers. We'll of course keep you updated.